road trips can be fun if you have the right people with you, tons of snacks, and good music. But for the people on this list, their road trip was anything but fun. From cars trying to ram them off the road, to getting lost on roads that never even existed in the first place. Let's talk about these and more only on today's top 10 list. Starting off this countdown, we have the face print. So this girl and her family was road tripping from Portland, Oregon to the Northwest Territories in Canada to visit her grandparents. After driving for quite some time, they stopped at a campground to sleep in the van. She was fast asleep in the passenger seat when she heard strange footsteps coming from outside her van. She woke up and looked out the window but couldn't see anything, so went back to sleep. But the next day, she was horrified. When she woke up, she glanced out the window and saw a full face print on it. Someone had been peering in, watching them sleep during the night. Yep, that's a note for me. In our ninth spot, we have the road that doesn't exist. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then why don't you give it a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. This story was shared by Reddit user Team Macon 7 Several years ago, she and her friends decided to go on a road trip to visit their mutual friend at her university. They printed off detailed directions, and the trip was only supposed to take three hours. But at one point, the directions took them through a sketchy path in the woods, and they were driving through this forest area for about an hour. By then, it was already past three hours, and they should have arrived there already. But finally, four and a half hours later, they arrived at their friend's place. They enjoyed the weekend there, and a couple months later, they decided to go back and visit. So they got their directions and followed the exact same route that they did before. Except they never encountered this long path through the woods. It's like all of a sudden the road just disappeared. I mean, it could just be that they took a wrong turn, but they are insistent that both times they followed the directions accurately. Somehow a road just disappeared. Coming in at number eight, we have the gas station. So this next woman shared a story from the time her and her girlfriends went on a road trip together. It was around 10 at night and they needed to stop for gas. Since they were young females, they looked for a well-lit and busy gas station to pull over to. Once they found one, they pulled over and the driver got out to fill the tank. But just as she started unscrewing the gas cap, an armed man with a gun and his crew surrounded her and shouted at her to get on the ground. That's when she realized it had been a trap. All the other cars at the gas station were empty. No one was driving them. They just positioned their cars there and waited until someone used the center pump. Thankfully, this girl was a quick thinker and the gunman wasn't that smart. She begged for her to go into the car and talk to her friends and he let her. But as soon as she got in her car, she threw it in reverse and nearly ran the guys over. She then sped out of there so fast and never looked back. Coming in at number seven, we have the road psycho. So this next woman and her husband were driving on the highway late at night on their way home from a trip. There wasn't a lot of cars on the highway, so it was a pretty peaceful drive. That was until this old lady raced up beside them in the adjacent lane. She then started to merge into their lane and tried to ram them off the road. And it's not like she was some innocent old lady that like just didn't see them. No, the whole time this was happening, she was staring right at them and smiling. Like she purposely wanted to see them get into a car accident. That is one sick old lady. In our sixth spot, we have the close call. So this young woman took a road trip to Florida with her family. That's when they decided to pull over to get some dinner. They finished their meals and headed to their hotel. The next day during breakfast, they turned on the television and saw that a reporter was talking about the restaurant that they had just eaten at the previous night. Turns out that 10 minutes after they left, there was a huge gang fight that took place in the restaurant and a number of people were shot dead. Talk about a close call. Had they just been there for 10 minutes longer, they may not have been alive today. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the trailer. Honestly, while researching this topic, I found a number of stories of people getting followed by creepy men in trucks. So please, be careful out there. And be extra cautious if you're driving alone at night. So the story is basically about that. It was around 2 a.m. and a man was headed to his hotel with his wife. That's when he noticed that the truck behind him had been following him for quite some time. Growing paranoid, he put on his turning signals as if he was about to get off at the exit, and so did the truck. But he didn't get off at the exit. The truck continued to follow close behind and copied his every move. That's when he decided to get off at the next exit and find a full parking lot to pull into. 
He pulled into it, parked beside another car, and switched off his lights. And what do you know? The truck came into the parking lot and made circles looking for them. After a couple of minutes, the truck finally leaves and the man makes it safely to his destination. That's horrifying though. I don't even want to know what the driver's intentions were. In our fourth spot, we have the guardian angel. So according to this next Reddit user, her grandpa used to be a long distance truck driver. So he would often drive long hours on unfamiliar roads. Well, one day he was driving down a single lane country road. It was around 2 to 3 in the morning, and the road was pitch black. Only his headlights were lighting up the road. Well, as he was driving, he felt a hand on his shoulder, and a voice whisper his name in his ear. As soon as he heard this, he slammed on his brakes. And good thing he did. Seconds later, his headlights lit up a pile of three crashed cars that were blocking the entire road. He had just managed to escape the wreckage. Had he not braked when he did, he would have smacked right into the cars. Now, the reason he stopped was because he recognized the voice. It was the voice of his mom that passed away a few years previously. So she was looking out for him and saved him from getting into a terrible crash. Moving on at number three, we have the end of the road. This story was shared by Reddit user Che Sarah Sarah. So this happened while she was driving from California to Ohio with her mom. They were driving at night on a lone road when all of a sudden her check engine light came on. So she stopped the car and got out. But when she did, she noticed the rest of the road was blocked off. The road just ended out of nowhere. It was under construction, so the whole road was blocked off completely. Good thing that they stopped when they did or else they would have crashed right into the construction zone. Not only that, they were in the middle of nowhere. There were no other cars or buildings or signs. So they just hopped back in the car and prayed that they would somehow find their way. Coming in at number two, we have the flat tire. If you drive, here's your reminder to always carry a spare tire with you and make sure you know how to change a tire by yourself. So this next individual was driving from Eastern Colorado to Wyoming. It was the middle of the night and they were alone on a dirt road. That's when they heard a loud bang. So, it was their tire. It had popped. So he pulls over and gets out into the darkness. He begins changing his tire as fast as he can when he hears a man say, Need any help with that? Yeah, that's my impression of the man. He said it just like that, probably. He spun around, but no one was standing there. He then grabbed his tire iron and started yelling out, Who's out there? But all there was was dead silence. He finished putting on the tire and sped the heck out of there. I'm just glad that he didn't start walking around in the forest, you know, trying to investigate. Because you all know that if this was a horror movie, that's what he would have done. And it would not have ended well for him. And in our number one spot, we have the ghost truck. So this next individual and her boyfriend were driving back home from a wedding. The trek home was about a three hour drive. The boyfriend had stayed sober as he was the designated driver. As they were driving along some dark country roads, they came across a truck headed directly at them. They both screamed as the bright headlights washed over them. He swerved the car to the side and nearly into a ditch. But when they looked behind them, there was nothing. No truck, no lights, no nothing. They were on a narrow country road. There was no way the truck could have went by them without smacking them. So what is it that they saw? They are convinced that it was a ghost truck. And turns out that years ago, a man lost his life after crashing head on with a trucker who had gotten lost and went down the wrong way. So that's pretty scary. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let's move quickly along to our comment shout outs. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 2021 TikToks that will make you say nope. Shirley made me say nope. Watch the video and you'll see. Art Lady Bluntser commented, Lindsay, are you literally scared of everything? Or would what you aren't afraid a shorter list? Or would what you aren't afraid a shorter list? Good. Okay, I don't know what you're getting at there, but gosh, girl, dolls, really? God bless. Excuse me? Dolls are hella creepy, okay? Have you ever heard of Annabelle? Or Robert the Doll? Those are real haunted dolls. We don't mess with dolls around here. No, no, no. And those creepy porcelain ones on the shelf that are just like, yeah, no, thank you. Candace Duncan commented, Lindsay, I want superpowers. I want to levitate stuff. Me, same, Lindsay, same. Wouldn't that be so cool if superpowers are real? We could just like be superhumans and levitate stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> what superpower would you want? Let me know in the comments below. Nin Jaxarn commented, baby monitor was just a dog. There's no way that that's, that was a dog. That was so creepy. The way that it was just, no, I rewatched it and it still looks like 
a creepy clown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a dog. Not possible. Anyway. Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see ya when I see ya. Mm -hmm.